Hello guys, how are you doing today? Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Can you hear me clearly, everyone there? Can you all hear me? Yes? Yes, can you all hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So uh, welcome guys to this class. Um, I'm pretty sure that the other ones are going to be connecting through the through the session. Um, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Alnay Ramirez and I am going to be your teacher or your facilitator through this module, okay? So we are going to be working together and uh, trying to understand, trying to practice as much English as possible, okay? So if are any point or any something happens or if you have any question or you would like to know something, I am going to be here to help you out, okay? If during the class you have any question, feel free to ask. If you do not understand what I'm saying, also ask, okay? So I will try to explain you. Uh, is it clear? Yeah. I, okay, I understand uh, that probably for some of you is a little bit difficult to understand. I mean, it's, you know, you're learning a new language and that's completely understandable. But if you have any question, as I said, or if you are not understanding something, feel free to ask, see? ¿sí? Pregunte and tell me, let me know, okay? Hágamelo saber que no están entendiendo algo, so I will try to, to explain you, okay? So, uh, I would request to you, like, if you, um, I mean, if you can speak in English or the words that you already know, las palabras que ya sepan how to say it in English, it will be very important that you try to participate or to say that in English, okay? Even though I understand that, that I mean, it's, it's difficult sometimes, but we are going to be here to try to learn. And obviously, I mean, to practice, okay? So if you participate and I listen that you are not pronouncing correctly some words, I will try to, uh, to help you with the pronunciation, okay? So when you pronounce things, it's going to be like a native speaker, okay? So, uh, well, for the ones that are just connecting, Welcome to the class again, and we are going to try to start right now because time is running and we just have one hour. So in this hour, we're going to try to, I mean, to, uh, to learn as much as possible. So we are going to start with what we have for today. Today, guys, is going to be pretty much some part of the vocabulary that we are going to try to, to study. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know like some words that some of you already know how to say some things. So, uh, well, as I said at the beginning, try to participate, try to be there paying attention. And if you have doubts, questions, comments or something, let me know. So we're going to start with today's class. And I just want to ask you, are you able to see it? Are you able to see the, the slide, the presentation? Can you see it in your phones or computers? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. So uh, that, that's just a brief information about me. It's just general information for you to know a little bit about me. As I said at the beginning, my name is Nelson Ramirez and this is just part of some uh, information about me, my labor uh, or my, my experiences actually, and some of the things that uh, about me. But so we're going to move on to what we have for today. So this is going to be today's class. We are going to have today vocabulary. 
So we are going to try to practice as much as we can, as I said, okay? So as it says there, today is going to be vocabulary. Vocabulary about transportation. I'm pretty sure that some of you like already know some of these words. So don't be shy, okay? Just try, try to be there. And if I ask you, try to participate, okay? So, I know that is the first class. Entiendo que sea la primera clase y todos están like, like you don't know, right? Like you're just there. But we're going to be working here as I said, so. Okay, just let me continue. All right. So first of all, we're going to try to understand what's a transportation or what's transportation. So I will try to, to see if someone can help me. Any volunteer, algún voluntario. Okay, I can see Steph, Sophia Stephanie. I see that you raise your hand and Edson, okay. Sophia Stephanie, can you help me reading this part? This part, let, let me see. Just let me, let me get the laser. Okay, this part right here. And Edson, you're going to help me with this part right here, okay? So Sophia Stephanie, go ahead, please. Is the more... Is the moving? Just say it. Solo, solo dilo, if you, in case you pronounce it incorrectly, I will pronounce it later on, okay? Uh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is Go the moving, movement of okay. humans and animals from one location to another. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Edson, go ahead. Okay. In other words, the action of transportation is defined as mm -hmm. a particular movement of an, of an organism or thing from a point A to the point B. Okay, thank you very much, Edson. So basically here, it's just a meanings, eh, el significado de transportation, okay? It says, is the movement of humans, animals from one location to another. Es el movimiento de humanos, animales, de un lugar a otro, right? So in other words, the action of transportation is defined. En otras palabras, la acción de transporte o de transporte es definida as a particular movement of an organism or thing from point A to point B. Particularmente se define como un organismo o cosa que se mueve de un punto A a un punto B. So that's the, that's the definition that we have for transportation. As you can see, we have an image here. Tenemos una imagen right here of some of the commons, methods, or ways, or means of transportation. So today we're going to try to learn, vamos a tratar de aprender how we pronounce, como pronunciamos these things, okay? Let's go. So first of all, primero que nada es, it's very important to know, es importante que todos sepamos how or which are the types of transport. Because we have difference, right? We have air transportation, we have road transportation, we have uh, transportation in the water, in the ocean, you know, we have different types of transportation. So we are going to see the differences that we have there. Las diferencias o los diferentes tipos. So I will need uh, a volunteer, algún voluntario, ¿verdad? Solo uno, no se peleen. Okay, Jose Lopez, I can see that you raise your hand. And uh, who else? Yeah, Jose Lopez. Okay, Jose, can you try, just try, and the way you think it is, de la forma que tú piensas que se pronuncia, just say it. Solo pronúncialo, and then we are going to see. 
I can also see Carla Romero. So, Jose Lopez, you're going to help me with this. And Carla Romero, you're going to help me with this. Okay. So, let's see. People traveling on the road are always cyclists or they are using a certain type of vehicle, mm -hmm. such, is, such as automobiles, bicycles, bus, and bus or trucks. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Jose. And now let's see Carla. Rail transportation. This includes in transport of rails. This can be either for passenger or good transport. And with different small of transport, such as trains, metro. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, uh, I do appreciate, as, aprecio el hecho de que participen sin, el, sin que la pronunciación sea probablemente la correcta, but that's the way you're going to be improving. Esa es la forma en que vamos a ir mejorando our pronunciation, okay? I appreciate that, okay? So we're going to go with the first part. Road transport. What does that mean? Son los transportes o los medios de transporte en carreteras. Road, listen, road transport. It says people traveling on the road are cyclists or they are using a certain type of vehicle, such as automobiles, bicycles, buses, vans, or trucks. Is there Hay alguna palabra de todo lo que está acá that you do not understand or you understand it all. O lo entendemos todo. Is it understandable? Certain. Certain. Ciertos. It says people traveling, las personas viajando en la calle, en la carretera, son ciclistas. Or están usando un cierto tipo de vehículo. Tales como, such as, automóviles, bicicletas, buses, vans, or trucks. Trucks es como lo que nosotros le llamamos camiones, right? All right. So, rail transport. ¿Cuáles son esos? Which are they? Son los transportes de eh, metro, like... Uh, you know, trains, trenes, and things like that. So this, it says, this includes all transport of... This can be either for passengers or goods transport and with different modes of transport, such as trains and metro. Okay, now let me ask you, entendemos todo lo que está aquí? Do we understand everything that is here? Yes or no? If you have questions, or si no entienden alguna palabra, ask, pregunte. So you sure, such as, such as, such as, tal, tales como, such think. as, okay, such as, okay, all right. The other ones, todos los demás, do we understand? Si entendemos. Either. What is either? Either. That either, either. Se significa esto puede ser para pasajeros. Either es como para decir una cosa o la otra. Either. That's either. We say automobiles, automobiles. This one right here, we say it automobiles, okay? So the other ones, los demás, entendemos todo? Are we, are we okay? We're good? Estamos bien? Everything? It's okay. Mama? Clear. Yes, Clear. Okay, let's move on. Continuamos. So, another type, otro tipo de transports, transports that we have are water transports, you know? 
Uh, let me see. Uh, volunteer. Voluntario. Algún voluntario would, that would like to help me reading that part? Jose Al... No, I can see Jose Alberto. Yes. Yes, yes. Alberto. And Sofia Stephanie. All right. So Jose Alberto, you will help me with water transports. And Sofia Stephanie with air transports. Okay. Let's go. Thank you very much for your participation. Water transport or ship transport is watercraft carrying people, passenger. Thank you very much. It says water transport or ship transport is watercraft carrying people, passengers. Otras palabras, los transportes de agua o los barcos de transporte son máquinas sobre el agua cargando personas, es decir, pasajeros, passengers, ok? Passengers, very good. Now I saw Sofía. Go ahead, Sofía. Air transport. Mm -hmm. Air transport include all transport throws the air in an urban or regional. Mm -hmm. regional? Just say it. it's fine. It's okay. Continue. Okay. Context this air transport. Mm -hmm. Include local air tra traffic such as small airplanes or helicopters. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much, Sofia. So it says air transport includes all transport through the air in an urban or regional context. This air transport includes local air traffic such as small airplanes or helicopters, okay? So now, do you guys understand everything there? Si entendemos todo lo que está ahí, or do we have questions? Donde dice Trump, Trump? This, this one? Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Por. Through the... Through. Through. Mm -hmm. Cuando every single time, cada vez que tengamos una palabra con TH al inicio, lo vamos a pronunciar con la letra Z de nuestro español. Through. Through. Como que aire pasa por sus dientes. Through. That's the way that we're going to pronounce it, okay? Gracias. Okay. Any other question or is that clear? Clear. How do you spell throw? Sorry? Uh, throw in Spanish? Through, that's the meaning of por. Through. Think. All right. So if that's clear, so we're going to move on. And we have the last one. El que todos, la mayoría de nosotros utilizamos, right? Public transport. Public transportation. So I will need two people here. Carla Romero, thank you very much for raising your hand. And who else? Any other volunteer that would like to help me? Let me see, I can see another hand. Edson Stanley. Okay, Edson. So uh, Carla, you're going to help me with this part, the first one, and Edson with the second part. Thank you very much. Okay, public transport. Public transport is passenger transport, which is publicly available. This um, for the for the more be uh -huh. distinct distinguished mm -hmm. in collective and individual transport. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Edson. Okay. Examples of collective public transport are transport by buses, tram, metro, train, and planes. 
Thank you very much. Okay, now let me read it to you so you can listen how do we pronounce. Lo que necesito que hagan, chicos, es que cuando yo estoy leyendo, traten de seguir la pronunciación que escuchan que yo hago, okay? So you can have an idea of how we pronounce that. So practice in your own, okay? It's not necessary that you talk, but when you listen the way I pronounce it, try to follow. Si, tratemos de seguir la lectura. Okay, let's go. Public transport is passenger transport, which is publicly available. This can furthermore be distinguished in collective and individual transport. Examples of collective transport, public transport are transport by buses, tram metro, train and plane. Now, let me ask you the, this question again. Do you understand everything that we have there? Si entendemos todo lo que está ahí? Or do we have questions? Teacher. What is furthermore? Furthermore, furthermore además. Thank you. All right. Edson, yes. Sí. One, uh, repeat the, this, this thing, guys. This thing. Did, did we say distinguished? We say, pronunciamos una pequeña letra T al final. Distinguished. Distinguished. Exactly. Like that. Very good. So, the other ones, lo demás, estamos, is that clear? Clear? Yes. All right. So, we're, yes. going, to, we're going to move on. Now, here we have, aquí tenemos una lista of the most common list of transportation. So, I will pronounce them. Los voy a pronunciar yo the first time, and then I will ask someone of you randomly. Sí, le voy a preguntar a cualquier persona al azar. So, first of all, I will repeat it twice. So, vamos a repetir dos veces the pronunciation, listen to the pronunciation, and then I will ask you, okay? Number one, ferry, ferry. Two, car, car. Three, bike, bike. Four, truck, truck. Number five, propeller plane, propeller plane. Number six, jeep. Jeep. Number seven, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Number eight, golf cart. Golf cart. Number nine, helicopter. Helicopter. Number 10, hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Number 11, canoe, canoe. Number 12, train. And number 13, plane, plane. Okay, so let me see. We're going to have uh, Mr. Saul Alberto. You will have number one, two, and three. Mr. Jarin Giovanni, number four, five, and six. Mr. No, Miss Xiomara Moran, seven, eight, and nine. Rina Margarita, 10, 11, and 12, and 13. Okay, so let's go. Ferry, car, bike. Bike. Very good. Thank you very much, Jarin. Um, um, for truck. 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 Uh -huh. Propel plane. 
Propeller plane. Um, Jeep. Jeep. Okay. Jeep. That's it. Thank you very much. Who is the next one? Siguiente. Who is the next one? Se nos corrió, vea. Bueno. Okay, so we're going to see Mr. Marvin Marroquin. Go ahead. Marvin, you're going to have number seven, eight, and nine. Marvin Marroquin, are you there? Seven, eight, nine. Yes, go ahead. Motorcycle, mm -hmm. golf cars, helicopter. Helicopter. Esa H se pronuncia como J. Helicopter. Yeah, okay, helicopter. Okay, very good. Now, who is the next one? Who is the next one? Was it Rina, I guess I remember, but she's not here. Well, okay. So let me see volunteer, any volunteer? Solo uno, ¿verdad? Sure. Pelen. You sure? Uh-huh. Uh, number um, 10? Number 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. Hot air balloon, and canoe, uh -huh. train, okay. and plane. Okay. Uh, this one, number 10, we pronounce it hot air. Hot, hot air, air balloon. Okay. So now. Do we understand, si entendemos todos los medios de transporte que tenemos acá, do we have the, the ones that we have here, or do you want me to tell you, or do you have any question about it? Rosa Melida, what, do you have any question? Uh, what is the meaning hot air balloon? Hot air balloon, es, son los... Eh, Los globos aerostáticos que le llamamos nosotros. Thank you, teacher. All right. Any other? Propeller plane. Propeller plane es, es un avión de, eh, que tienen como una crucita en, en, al, en la puntita. I don't know how to say that. Like, um, de propela. That at uh, the in la punta del del la, como en la cabeza del del plane está una cosita que da vuelta. That's a propeller plane. Mm -hmm. The other ones are understandable, right? Los demás sí, todo está clear. Yeah. Um, golf cart. Golf cart es un carrito de golf. Okay. Well, okay, if there's no questions, so let's move on to the next part of the vocabulary. So we have here another ones. Okay, we have more. Todos van a participar, sí? Algunos que están por ahí que no quieren participar, que ya los vi. Um, we're going to ask them, okay? So pay attention again. I will pronounce it twice, dos veces, twice, and then I will ask you, okay? So, race car, race car, subway, vote, scooter, skateboard, skateboard, rocket, submarine, taxi, bullet train, van, Zeppelin, ambulance, and tank. I will repeat it again. Race car, subway, vote, scooter, skateboard, rocket, submarine, taxi, bullet train, van, Zeppelin, Ambulance tank. Now, volunteers, 
voluntarios. Sofía and Stephanie. Okay, Sofía, you're going to help me with number 14, 15, and 16. Then Jocelyn, 17, 18, and 19. Jose López with 20, 21, 22, and Iris Yvette, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Go ahead. Praise girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will you were you were going to read 14, 15, and 16. Three. Sophia. Oh, okay. I don't understand. So a uh, boat. 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 Okay. Okay. Boat. Very good. Thank you very much. Jocelyn. Is is there uh, mm -hmm. escape or rocket? Okay. Thank you very much. Jose Lopez. Submarine, taxi, and bullet train. Thank you very much. Iris. Bank, mm -hmm. settling, ambulance, mm -hmm. tank. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, sometime or something that I want to tell you, algo que si es bien importante, chicos, every single time, cada vez que tenemos una palabra que inicie con la letra S, never, nunca, pero nunca pronunciamos una letra E al inicio. Generalmente, cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés, tenemos la maña de pronunciar scooter, por ejemplo, en la 17. Pronunciar una letra E al inicio. O decir scooter. No. In English, we just make the sound. En inglés, solo hacemos el sonido de la letra S. ¿Cuál es? Like that. So, would you say scooter? Scooter. Todas las que inician de la letra S siempre, always, siempre las vamos a pronunciar así. Que se nos vaya quitando la maña de, de, de ponerle una letra E al inicio. No. Porque when you, when you say that, cuando hacen eso, se escucha bien españolizado. Ok. So let's try to uh, improve the pronunciation. Ok. Para mejorar nuestra pronunciación. So. With that being said, con eso dicho, is there any question that you have? ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions at all. Repeat uh, pronounce ambulance. 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 Thanks. Okay. All right. Any other question? Okay. I will take the silence as a yes. Vamos a tomar el silencio como un sí. All right, so we're going to move on. And these are, I uh, guess, this, these are, yes. These are the last ones that we have. We have, uh, listen again to the pronunciation. Comper, catamaran, train, tow truck, cruiser, Delivery truck, glider, garbage truck, kayak, jet, snowmobile, sailboat, ship, ship. Listen again. Comper, catamaran, train, tow truck. Cruiser, delivery truck, glitter, garbage truck, kayak, jet, snowmobile, sailboat, ship. Okay, let me see. Volunteers. Let's see. It's I can see Stephanie, Carla, and who else? Paola, okay. I can see Paola, Iris, and Saul, I guess. Yeah, I can see Saul, okay. 
So, Sophia, you're going to help me with number 27, 28, and 29. Paola, you're going to help me with 30, 31, 32. Iris Yvette, you're going to help me with 33, 34, and 35. Saul, you're going to help me with 36, 37, 38, and 39. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Let's go. Sophia, you there? Okay. Comfort. Mm -hmm. And the 28, I don't remember. Okay. How, how do we say that, guys? ¿Cómo lo pronunciamos? The other ones? <laughs> ¿Alguien por ahí? Catamaran. Catamaran. Thank you very much. Catamaran. Catamaran. Okay. okay. Catamaran. Train. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much, Sofia. Now, Paola. So, drug. House. Tau drug, cruiser, yes. delivery truck. Thank you very much. Now, Iris Yvette. Glider, uh -huh. garbage, garbage truck, and kayak. Okay. Kayak, thank you very much. And now, Saul Alberto. Yacht, not mobile, sailboat, tip. Check. Thank you very much. Okay. Do we have any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento. Is there any questions so far? So far, so good. Estamos bien. What is kayak? Kayak es como, es como un botecito. Es como de esos que en los que te metes solo una persona. Una persona con... Eh, como dos. O remando, ¿verdad? Remando, like that, yes. And delivery, delivery truck. Delivery truck. Son los camiones de entrega. Aquellos que le llevan las entregas a las personas con carga, ¿sí? Que le llegan a entregar las cosas a su casa. Catamaran. Catamaran. That's like similar to a boat. Es similar a un bote. En nuestro idioma sería más similar a una lancha. Something like that. Y snowmobile. Snowmobile es unos carros de nieve. Snowmobile. Okay. All right. And glider. Glider. Glider is similar to. Uh, um, es similar a, a un bote. But I don't know si alguna vez este es generalmente es utilizado por la realeza. Son similares. a largos donde se meten varias personas como jalando that's a glider and camper 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 es eh, son como de esos carritos de los 80 donde se ven como que son huevitos something like that tow truck Tow truck y son los, los camiones que recogen los carros cuando los han dejado mal estacionados. Tow truck. Como grúa. Grúa, exactly, yes. En sailboat son los botes de pescar. Sailboat, ¿ok? Ship. Ship son los barcos. Nice. All right. So if we don't have more questions, it's it's the time for us to know how to make questions. ¿Cómo preguntamos? ¿Cómo le preguntamos a alguien en qué medio de transporte se dirige? If we want to ask, if, or if we want to ask someone, si le queremos preguntar a alguien, ¿cómo llega a tal lugar? Usando el vocabulario de transportation. We have to ask the question, tenemos que hacerle la pregunta, how do you come, for example, to school? How do you come to school? ¿Cómo llegas a la escuela? Answer, I come to school by car. Vengo a la escuela en carro. Let's see another one. How do you come to school? 
I come to school by taxi. Another one. How do you come to school? I come to school by bus. How do you come to school? I come to school by train. Okay. ¿Cómo, es, ¿Cómo diríamos esta? Vamos a ver. Do motorcycle. Motorcycle, ok. I come to come. school motorcycle. By motorcycle. Thank you very much. Ok. All right. So let's see. By motorcycle. Very good. Now, we're going to go, guys, to the practice. Vamos a ir a la práctica. And... Uh, I need, necesito que los que están no sé, en su computer, su computadora o su teléfono, que puedan tomar captura de la pantalla. I don't know if you can do that. To screenshot, to make a screenshot, because we are going to move on. Nos vamos a mover a una actividad de grupo y necesito que todos tengan las capturas para que sepan de lo que vamos a estar practicing, ¿ok? So I don't know if you're using a computer or if you're using a phone or if you're using a tablet or whatever you're using. Let me know. Háganmelo saber cuando ya la tengan so I can move to the next one. Do you have it already? Can I move? Can I move to the next one? Si me puedo mover a la siguiente. Can I move to the next one? Yes. yes. Okay. This is the next one. Let me know when you have it so I can move to the next one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Podría darle al anterior, teacher. Yes, sure. Here we have. Thank you. All right. So this one. Yes. Very good. So that's that's the last one. So what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? And this one in esta actividad, this uh, speaking activity. That's why it says speaking activity. Nos vamos a mover a los breakout rooms y vamos a trabajar en equipos, ¿sí? En la speaking activity, todos, absolutamente todos, van a tener que leer de la manera en que ustedes piensen que se pronuncia esto, ¿ok? Todos. In order, ¿ok? So then, in the next one, en esta solo van a escribir Cómo se escribe cada tipo de transporte basándose based on the pictures, okay? Based on the pictures. And this one, as it says, find encontrar six means of transportation. Encontrar seis medios de transporte, which are here, okay? Is it clear? Claro. Okay. Good. Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. we're going to move on to the breakout room, guys. We are 24, somos 24. So los grupos van a quedar de 5, 5 y 5 y 4. Sí, los voy a estar monitoreando. De repente me van a ver que voy a estar ahí. So I need you to participate. Si usted no sabe cómo pronunciar algo, say it, solo dígalo. Necesito que se les quite el miedo a participar. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. ¿Dónde, dónde están eh, ese, ese cuarto para practicar? Oh, todavía no se los he enviado. Ya se los voy a enviar. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, okay. So what I was saying is that eh, no tengamos miedo. Estamos acá para practicar, para participar. Y si nos equivocamos, así es como se aprende. Ok. So ya les envié a todos su link para que puedan ingresar a los grupos y voy a estar viéndolos a cada uno ahí. So please go ahead.
เราเราเนาะเราเล่าเราเล่าหมดแล้วเราโอเคยืนยันในมิโครโฟนเดียวฮัลโหลวันนั้นก็สิ่งที่ฉันเคยเห็นดีคือว่าเราไม่สามารถตอบคำถามได้ทุกอย่างเราต้องใช้วิธีการที่เราเคยเห็นยูเห็นดีคือเราต้องใช้วิธีการที่เราเคยเห็นทุกอย่างเราต้องใช้วิธีการที่เราเคยเห็นทุกอย่างโอเคโอเคโอเคแล้วเสร็จก็มาก็มาเป็นสามสี่ปีพอละเล็กๆเด็กโอล่าเอ๊ะโอล่าเอ๊ะบิสิคเลต้าโคโมโคโมสี่ Bicycle. Of course, some people in cities walk, but some cities are famous for the type of transport people use. No, it's okay. It's the people in cities need to use different types of means of transport to move around. Of course, some people in cities well, but some cities are famous for the types of transport people use. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Bueno, a ver la siguiente. Primer la siguiente. Tiene la siguiente. El siguiente era lo del transporte. Por si. Yo Por creo si. que ya nos van a sacar. Porque... No, ahorita el teacher está verificando cómo vamos a la producción. Y más del grupo, para, por si alguien quiere participar. Hola, me escuchan, compañero. Sí, sí, sí. Claro. Creo que lo alcanzo a leer. Voy a intentar. That's good, Angelica. Very good. Ajá, un poquito ahí de zoom y lo, lo puedo intentar. Is the a speaking activity? Yes. The first is, is car. 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 Bus. Bus. Train. Mm -hmm. Train. Train. Plane. 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 Bicycle. Bicycle. Ah, bicycle. Yes. Motorcycle. Yes. Next in helicopter. Drop. The next. Car. Score. Is drop. Ship. Ship. Helicopter. Truck. 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 Score. Ship. Sí, ¿verdad? Ship. Ship. Eh, barco, ¿verdad? No. Supongo que sí, barco. 
ship 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 this is ship el del amarillo solo sería truck mm -hmm. sí truck motocicleta alguien me ayuda no, that one we get motorcycle. Motorcycle. Oh, motorcycle. Okay. bicicleta, bicycle. No, that one we say it bicycle. 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 Or the most, uh, la forma más corta, bike. Bike. Me quedo con bike. <laughs> Mike and motorcycle. Sí, verdad. Bike and motorcycle. Solo esas tres, verdad. Uh -huh. Encontraron bueno, otra. No. Son seis, dijo. Son seis. Quiero ver. ¿Cuáles dijimos que habían encontrado? Bus, bicicleta motocicleta y... Ajá, esas tres. Bus, motocicleta y... It's out. It's yeah. out way. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Motorcycle is the. Motorcycle is the. One, two, three, four, son six. el del camión el camión del color amarillo cómo se pronuncia que ese sí no me acuerdo truck 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 alguien le tomó captura al, al, a la sopa de letras ya la mandé ahí al whatsapp Bike encontraron. Ajá. Ah, 
Ah, también. Ajá, motorcycle también. Ese ahí se encontró. En la quinta línea. Ah, oh, no. En la tercera línea, perdón. Donde dice Morosaico, en la T de Morosaico, hacia abajo dice train, train, de train. Ok, train. Finish. So were you able to complete? Did you finish all the exercises that you're supposed to complete? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, so yes teacher. We're just gonna wait for the other ones to come back to the to the main session. And we are just going to have one person or two people to read the speaking activity. I want to say that I saw that some of you were pronouncing, some others, I didn't see some, some of you participating, but in some groups, I saw the majority of you participating, okay? So, okay, thank you. Perfect, so we're just going to have one person. Let me see, uh, Carla Romero, give me a number from one to 10. Give me a number from one to ten. Un número del uno al diez. Tell me one number. Yes, you, Carla. <laughs> yes, tell me a number. I cannot listen. You have your microphone off. Tu micrófono está apagado. Two? Number two, so let me see, one, two. Saul Alberto, so that's you. El sorteado, okay? So Saul, so let me see, let me share the presentation with you once again, and I need you to read this part. Let's see, Saul, let's go. People in city need to use different types of means of transport to move around. Of course, some people in city want, but some cities are famous for the types of transport people use. Okay, thank you very much. So now let me read that to you. People in cities need to use different types of mean of transport to move around. Of course, some people in cities walk. Cuando pronunciamos este verbo, nunca pronunciamos la letra L. Nunca decimos walk, nunca decimos walk, decimos walk. Walk, but some cities are famous for the types of transport people use, okay? So we're going to start working on the pronunciation, guys. And uh, well, that's gonna be all for today. Eso va a ser todo por el día de ahora. Thank you so much for attending to the class. So see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Teacher, si no entramos al link que decía antes, eh, no pasa nada. Donde es como una plataforma. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, you have to work. Tienen que trabajar en, en, en esa plataforma. Eh, eh, it's necessary. Es necesario que entren. If you have, si de repente tienen algún problema o algo, me lo hacen saber, ¿ok? Yo no puedo entrar, o sea, como que se bloqueó mi usuario y dice que, que no, puedo, no puedo acceder y que no hay módulos, como que está en blanco. Ok, um, 
can you send me a screenshot, una captura de pantalla? So okay. And uh, so I can have that information there and I can ask for that information. Puedo preguntar. So it is. Okay, thank you. It is the best. Sí, good night, teacher. Eh, a mí me costó entrar a la clase y por eso entré 15 minutos tarde y no sé si pasó lista. Aquí estoy presente. Okay, okay, no problem. Yes, I'm checking all of you. Uh, but I can see that you're here and you were in the class because you were in the class, so that's not a problem. So, Rosa Melida, do you have any question? Teacher, um, a mí la plataforma me dice siempre módulo uno. Okay, so can you do the same? Puedes hacer lo mismo que Carlen, eh, take a screenshot, tomar una captura de pantalla, so send it to me, enviármela, eh, so I can talk to administration so we can help you with that. Okay, okay. thank you. So any other question, alguna otra pregunta que haya before we go? Yo, teacher. Yes. Disculpe, fíjate que a mí, me di, eh, a mí se me parece como módulo 2, pero como iniciado el 24 de mayo. No sé si hay algún inconveniente ahí. Eh. Mm. Let me ask for that information. Voy a preguntar esa información. So you, uh, I will let you know tomorrow. Mañana se la voy a hacer saber, okay? Okay, okay, gracias. Okay, so okay, I'm... Okay, good night. Okay, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for coming and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good okay. night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, Bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.